If your excuse for not going fishing is it's too expensive, then this video is for you. Hey guys, we're going to be at a local pond and we're going to be finding lures for absolutely free. In fact, we found over $100 worth of lures up in trees, under docks, in the water, just about anywhere. And make sure you stick to the end because something actually really cool happened. Caleb's going to be our waterman and I want to be our landman. So let's go find some lures. on the water as you can see and we're just gonna be going around uh, trying to find lures so we're gonna go around to a place with like more trees because right now it's just grassy banks you can see that so yeah we're just gonna be going around trees and the annoying or annoying part about this is I only have one paddle right there so I only have one paddle and I have two fishing poles Yeah, we're gonna have to make do with what I'm gonna have to make do with what I have, but this is gonna be a long day out on the lake. So we're at our first spot, and my brother's already on it, and he just found a lipless crankbait on that tree. So we're all, my brother's found this lure on a tree from the shore, and they can't get it, so I'm gonna go get it. And I'm looking at it. What is it? Let me see. It is a lipless crankbait. So let me show you guys it right there in the tree. Ah, this kayak is not stable. There it is. Okie dokie. It's an Ozark Trail lipless crankbait. There it is. Let me hold it the right way. There it is right there has fairly new hooks pretty nice and i'm just gonna snap the line off and boom there we go so it's an ozark trail lipless crankbait you can hear that sounds pretty good so that's our first lure and so i'm gonna throw it to them real quick don't want it to get hooked on my finger and fall in the water so Threw it to them over there. So, we got our Ozark Trail lipless crankbait. Let's put them in the tackle box. So, first lure down. Hopefully, we can find some more, but let's keep going. So, back again, same tree. I was just looking around after I tossed the lure back, and up there, let me zoom in for you guys. Uh, right up, ah. Uh. Okay, so up there, there's this crawfish, so I'm gonna try to get it. At least we're cleaning up the trees, and the hook is not very nice, like bent. So I'm gonna snap this off. If I can do it. Okay, there. So we have the crawfish, and the weight we could probably use. Here it is. It's a small little bullet weight. Let me put this... So you guys can see it. There you go. So small little bullet weight, crawfish, and let's keep going. Oh, okay, right here. I just found another one while I was saying that. It it's a little trick worm. I forgot what these are called, but it has a nice hook. So right there, little soft plastic worm. I guess we probably can't see it. Okay, I'll show you guys in a second. So it's all tangled up in here. There it goes. Okay, so we have it right here. And we use these a good bit. Just a little worm. Has a, looks like a 3 aught EWG hook. And I am a fan of 3 aught and 4 aught EWG hooks because we do a lot of soft plastic fishing and we always use these. And the worm doesn't look in bad condition. So we could probably use that for wacky or something. So that's two in the boat right there. So, yeah. 
we're gonna keep looking for more lures. And there's my brother up in the tree getting a lure. up there pushing it down to me I grabbed it there's a swim bait a jerk bait and
here it is. Little bass. Nice little guy. Go ahead and let him go. Pretty awesome. 